What's up YouTube, Web is 5 here, following the following the requested mythical beast deck profile, just thought I'd just thought I'd show you guys some of the quick combos that you can do with this deck. So deck. So I'm gonna be doing two videos so I'm gonna be doing two videos, one of which you this first one of which is what you can do with the pure variant, and then the next one is what you can do in the Sky Striker variant. So let's get straight into it. So let's get into it. So for the So your idea so the ideal cards that you want to stop. So some of the ideal cards that you want to try and see in your opening hand when you're setting up with Mythical Beast is your Cerberus. To, you want your Cerberus so you can get whatever monster that you feel is necessary. Endymion, or you can also be Endymion, or you could also have Terraforming to just search into the Endymion. And then the other card you want to always want to start with is your Institution to start setting yourself up. The other two, and then the remaining two cards can be interchangeable, but I thought to best showcase what you can do, I thought I'd show the three main cards we've got, and then we'll make the last two just completely randomized. Okay. And so, the, and so the two cards we'll be having added to the hand are a Basilisk and another Endymion. Okay, the second Endymion is not great. Okay, a second Endymion is not great, but okay, let's work with it. Okay, so the foot. So the first thing you're gonna to want to do is you're gonna set up by activating your Endymion. You're gonna set up by activating Magical Sister of Endymion. Next, next you want to activate your Institution. Next, you'll be activating Institution. That in turn will put one spell. That in turn puts one spell counter on your Endymion. You'll then use the effect of institution to remove that one spell counter to add your level one mythical to add a level one monster that you can put a spell counter on. Naturally, that is going to be your level one mythical based jackal. So that's going to be added to so our jackal is going to be added to our hand from there. So and then what you want to do next is you want to then you want to normal summon. Next, you want to normal summon your jackal and activate your sir. Then activate your Cerberus, which in turn puts quite a few spell. That puts one spell counter on your Endymion and one spell counter on your Jackal. The, the new Cerberus. Then you can use Cerberus's effect to destroy himself, destroy himself to search a mythical beast. In this situation, the mythical beast that you probably want to add is your Jackal, is your Jackal King. Then, because a mythical beast, and then because a mythical beast was destroyed, you get to put two spell counters on your institution. Uh, what you, uh, what you do next is option. At this point, you've got three spell counters on your field. If you want to use Jackal's effect, my recommendation in this situation is probably activate Jackal King first. Put a few more spell counters. Put two more spell counters on your field from that, so that when you activate the effect of Jackal, and then from there you activate Jackal's effect, remove two from itself, and I'd say probably one from your institution, and then tribute itself off, then do your special summon. You, as I said, you could have done it beforehand. The reason I've done it this way is because by activating Jackal King, I've put another spell counter onto my field, so it means... At least I've now got spare spell counters to protect these should I happen to get disrupted in any way. Should I happen to get dis disrupted in any way of my opponent maybe trying to twin twist in me next turn or something. Or if I'm going second, though naturally if I was going second I would have drawn a card, but in this situation I'm acting as if I'm going first. So then I'll tribute our Jackal King, our Jackal to special summon out another Jackal King. Then from here, we're going to activate Jackal King's, the Pendulum Effect of our Jackal King to destroy itself to special summon a mythical base from the extra deck. Now, because we're going first, the monster I'm going to go into is another Jackal. And because I just destroyed something, Institution gets two more counters, bring it up to three. Three. And then from here, I'm going to activate my mythical beast Basilisk as a scale to put a few more extra spell counters on my field. Then from there, I'm going to activate Jackal's effect again, removing one, one from itself, and I'm going to remove two from, and I'll remove two from my institution. 
tribute itself off to special summon a to special summon a second copy of my Jeff a second copy of Jackal King. Next from there, I'm going to activate the effect of my bash list to destroy itself to put something from my extra deck back into my hand. In this situation, I'd like to keep um, an option of another Jackal if necessary, so I'm going to put ja the other Jackal I had back into my deck. Reshuffle and draw a new card. Okay, well that's pretty good. And then because something was destroyed, two counters there. Two counters there. And I just drew into a beast, and I just drew into a beast magic attack, which is I just drew into a beast magic attack, which is pretty good. So, so from that, I'm, and with the amount of spell counters currently on my field, I've got the option. I can use the effect to put something back into my hand if I so feel like it. I could special summon something from my extra deck, but right now there's probably the only one I'd probably want from my extra deck is the Cerberus, which isn't a bad, which is not a bad idea. But because I'm going first, I'm probably just. But since I'm going first, I'm probably just going to hold on to the magic attack. So I'm just going to set my magic attack for my turn. Set my magic attack and end my turn there, and then I've ended my turn by having two. By having two negates on board and a solid amount of spell counters on my field, so so that's just one. so that's one. So that's a potential nice opening play of what you can do with mythical base and the pure variant. I'm just gonna do add from there, and so now I'm just going to quickly do, and now I'm just gonna quickly decide my deck. I'm just gonna quickly switch over the deck to the sky strikers, and show you what you can do with some of those. Okay, guys. So this is so this is what you can do under the Sky Striker variant of the Mythical Beasts. I'll just give my deck a quick shuffle. Just gonna quickly give it another quick one. One thing I do a lot. Of, one thing I tend to do a lot in my spare time is practice my time shuffling. Because one of the things I like to do is shuffle them as quickly as I possibly can because of the new time rules. I think my record for shuffling a six. I think my record for shuffling my forty card deck is like half a minute. To give it a proper decent shuffle. But I haven't practiced in a while, so I'm getting a bit rusty. Okay, so that's not so our deck's nice and randomized there. So let's see what cards we can get from the mythical beasts. Okay, so that's actually not the so that's not an ideal, that's not an ideal opening because we haven't really seen essentially the only things we've got are the two terraformings to get two copies of Endymion so that's not really sound so I'm actually just gonna redo that one. In the, pre in the previous combo I showed probably I showed the position of what you could do with the best and this time I just want to do it in what you can see randomly because essentially most of the cards you play in the Sky Striker variant are three of so you should be able to hit the cards you need pretty easily. But if I get like three bad hands in a row, then I'm gonna probably try something like that. Okay, that's not Okay, that's not bad. I'd probably have preferred to start off with an engage, but I'll roll with it. But let's go with this. So from, so from this situation, I'm going first. So the first thing I wanna do is activate my multi. Is I want to activate my multi roll, then I'm going to use it to, and I'll probably, this situation I probably want to set the widow anchor, then use the effect to multi roll, send widow anchor. Now my opponent can't respond to my spell. Now my opponent can't respond to me activating my spell cards. So I'll activate mythical institution, Cerberus, Cerberus fit pops, to search out a jackal. Okay. To search out our Jackal King institution, then gains two. The institution then gains two spell counters upon the destruction, and then we'll use one of those spell counters to grab our ja to grab ourselves a copy of Jackal. Then normal, then normal summon out the Jackal. 
because of the current position we're in, I'm pro I'm going to go Bachelist next to put one spell count. That puts one spell counter on Jackal. Then use Bachelist effect to destroy itself to shuffle back the Cerberus into my deck and draw one card. Let's see what we can get off of this. This is probably not the best opening because I didn't open any of the main Sky Stroker spells. Okay, that's not bad. I just drew into a terraforming, so let's do that. That's I'll probably do this one. I'll probably do another test hand off this one, see preferably a hand where I've opened an engage. So terraforming. Oh, I'm right, two spell counts because I just destroyed the Bachelisk. Then one spell counts because I played the terraforming. That's been Demian. Put a third spell counter on here. Then use Jackal, tribute, and remove three to special someone from the deck. And I'm gonna go with a Jack. So I'm gonna go with the Jackal King. Activate this Jackal King, puts a few spell, puts a couple more spell counts on my field. The Jackal King, in this situation pops. Special summon Jackal, thumbs up to five. Use Jackal's effect to remove three spell counters from here. Tribute itself, and I'll put it, and then I'll whack out another Jack. And then from there, I'll go into another Jackal King and leave my board with two. Go into another Jackal King and leave my field with two negates on board. I didn't get to play any Sky Stroker spells, so I don't go into multi roll. That's probably not the best example of what you can do with deck, but that was off a completely randomized hand. So let's, so let's try this again. So let's try that again. One thing I've noticed is that the build definitely can work, but you need to open a nice balance of Sky Striker and Mythical Beast cards. Ideally, you want to try and open with Cerberus. Ideally, you, in this deck, you always want to try and open with your Cerberus, and in the Sky Striker one, you'd also probably want to try and open with the Engage. Just... Or essentially just a way that you can get three spell counters, three spell cards in your grave as quick as you can. But you don't really want to get three terraformings off your opening hand because the only field spell you play is Endymion. Okay, let's see what we get this up. Nice. There we go. That'll do. Okay. Okay, so not the be so not the best with mythical beasts. Not the best with mythical beasts. I just quickly swap those two. Just to try and get a better hand. Okay, there we go, that's a bit better. Okay, that's a little better. So we'll go with that. Or to probably really showcase what the deck can do, I'll switch out the Jackal King for the Cerberus. Okay, so to start things off here, we're going to start things off here, we're gonna go terraforming into our citadel into our citadel. Activate the sit activate our citadel. Activate institute activate institution. Put one on the citadel. Because I've already oh because I've already opened Ray, I don't need to use engage. I don't need to use engage to I don't need to use engage to grab a Hornet drone, so I can go engage. And in this situation, I'm probably going to grab a multi roll.
to roll. I'll use the effect of institution to remove a spell counter from the... Oh, in this game, it's a spell counter because I just activated and engage. I'll use the effect of institution to remove one spell counter from Endymion. To add the Jackal King. To add Jackal. Probably from. Or actually, or actually, because I've opened Ray as opposed to one of the other cards. Oh, wait, that was the search of the institution, so yeah. Let's go with the. So actually, in that scene. So actually, probably a better thing I could do is leave that for the moment. So what I want to do next is Cerberus, put three counters on that. Cerberus pop, search for Jackal King. Jackal King is an option, or another one is potentially like Garuda or Well, actually, in this situation, yeah, I'm going to be doing the Mythical Beast a bit more. So, actually, in the position to do a lot more with the Sky Striker. So I'm going to go for a Basilisk, actually. And then, because a card with Spell, because the Mythical Beast was destroyed, I put two counters on my Institution. I'll have to be Basilisk. Use Basilisk effect. Pop itself to shuffle back the Cerberus. Puts two more counters on there, and then I get to draw a new card. Draw. Okay, that's quite nice. I'll use the effect of Institution to remove four spell count to remove four spell counters to add a level four mythical base. So I'm going to add another Bashless because I've just got the because I just drew into the Garuda. Oops. Then from here, I'm going to activate my multi activate my multi roll. Use multi rolls effect to send Institution to the grave, so that this so that this turn spells my mythical beast spells can't be responded to. Uh, because I haven't normal summoned yet, I'm going to normal summon Ray. Then use Ray to make Kaga to go into our Kagari. Then use Kagari's effect to put back the to put back the engage. Then we'll activate the engage. And in this situation, there's not too much we can do. So in this. Oh, and this is getting two more spell counters because one from the multi roll, one from the engage. So, probably the one I want to go for is a Widow Anchor just because I can use it in my opponent's turn. And the engage goes through. I shall then set the Widow Anchor. Then use the Kagari. Let's go to Shizuku. I know these technically point to the other field, I'm just doing it so you guys can see. And then at the end phase, I'll use the effect of multi roll. I activated one Sky Striker spell while it was on the field, so I get to set one. So I'll set back and engage. And then Shizuku will let me search for one which has a different name to the ones in my grave. So I can. But since I don't have any ones in my grave, I can just search anything I want. So I'm just going to grab another copy of Engage for next turn. And so I'm all set up. And so if, and so I'm set up with a couple of disruptions. So if my, so if my opponent tries a monster effect, I can go. 
Widow Anchor to stop it. I can go Widow Anchor to stop it, but more spell counters. If my opponent tries. And or before that, before they even summon the monster, I could just go Garuda, remove three spell counters from here. Special summon, return that monster to the hand. And but if it's got an effect on summon, I'll probably do it in the combination of Widow Anchor, make it negate its effects, then chain Gar then chain Garuda, removing three special summon. Remove three special summon, because doing it that way is absolutely fine. I could also I could simultaneously also do it the other way around, because to activate the Widow Anchor, I just need to control no monsters, but thinking from the chain link pers But from the chain links well actually yeah, from the chain link perspective, the way I want to do it is when they summon, if they summon and use an effect, Garuda to, Garuda to bounce, then chain Widow Anchor, then chain Widow Anchor. Target to negate the so that the negate will go, so that they stop the effects first, then summon Garuda, bounce it back, and its effects still will have been negated. And then I'm still pretty much set up for the next turn. Yeah. So yeah, the Sky Striker variant can be quite iffy, but I still think it's quite fun and I like it. All right, guys, I hope that's been a bit informative of what the Mythical Beasts can do in both of the respective engines. Let me know what you, th let me know what you guys think. Leave a comment in the description and I'll hopefully see you again soon.